everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, this one will be about how to get the Cloudera uh, virtual machine working on your computer. So some people might have a little bit of an issue getting it up and running on their computer. So here I actually have uh, the Cloudera 5.4.2. So it might be a different version when you download it. I'll be linking it down below. Um, just download it and put it somewhere on your computer where you can access it. Uh, currently it's on my desktop but you might have it somewhere different. You're also going to need the Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager. This will also be linked down below. So you can also quickly go and find this. So let's get started by clicking on import. So I have nothing here right now. I do have one, but that's for my school. But uh, to get started with this one, since we have it, we have a specific one downloaded, we will click on import. Uh, we're going to look for the file. So in this case, like I said, I have it on my desktop, Cloudera. Uh, we're going to open it up, and you're going to select the virtual machine here. So um, you can select from wherever it needs to be, but since it's on my lo local machine, so uh, I will find it here. We're going to click Next. We don't have to really change anything yet, so let's click Import. And this is going to take a second, so I'll cut to when it's completed. All right, now that we have the Cloudera VM here, so we haven't changed any of the initial uh, properties. So if we were to just start it, well, I'll show you what the general issue that a lot of people do have uh, with this uh, virtual machine. We have started it up, and it starts booting up. We don't really have to do anything um it's gonna start booting up and what it says here is that our hardware is incompatible and it just keeps spitting out this uh error and for the longest time for my course i had to figure out like what what was wrong with this so this is the error that you normally get so what we'll do here is we'll exit out we'll power off the machine so we don't have an instance of it what you want to do is you want to go to settings of you want to select the one that you want to edit go to settings here what we're going to do is we're going to go to system we're going to add a little bit of memory so if you have the ability to add memory just add a little bit of memory i would say go up to around this much or more if depending on how much you need we're going to go into processors so here is where i normally find the solution where we need to add another processor so in th in this case we'll, i'm going to bump it up to around two processors and then we're going to go into our display options and from eight megabytes i'm going to raise it to around 12 megabytes so uh to reiterate we essentially go to we we have gone to clicked on our specific machine we clicked on settings we're going to go into system we're going to motherboard we're going to raise our memory from around four gigabytes to a little bit higher than that that uh how high you want to go is up to you we're going to move the processor from one cpu to two uh this is just going to make whatever you run on the vm a little faster um, but for this instance, I'm only running it up to two. You can move it up to as many as you need. We're going to then go into display. We're going to set it to 12 megabytes. Uh, and we're just going to click OK on the bottom here. Now that we've made these changes, let's try launching the VM now. Now you'll see a big difference. Um, when the message pops up saying, please press any button, just click any button and wait for this screen to load and just click enter again. So it's going to give you the same issue as before, but you'll see now that it's actually loading. So um, it'll still give you that error, but don't worry. Um, the virtual machine will continue loading it. Um, here, I'm going to skip a little bit forward just so that uh, for the first time when the VM does load, it takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to uh, skip a little forward to when the actual VM has loaded up. All right, we are back and uh, the system has loaded up. So you can see here that the Cloudera virtual machine has loaded up. 
Now, if you do what I did, it's going to take a while, so don't be afraid to understand that it's going to be a black screen for a little bit. It is the bare minimal uh, requirements for the virtual machine to run. So if you want to add more stuff like RAM and stuff, it, it, it might load a little faster. But um, overall, I see the on my class, like the performance is the same. This is as much as I need. Um, so we have the full virtual machine working here with Tadloop. You can get PySpark and everything like that. So I hope this is going to help you guys if you guys have finals or if you have this in a course and you're looking for a solution for why it, the Cloudera virtual machine is not working. Um, and I will see you guys next time in another tutorial, hopefully.